everybody, Carl Schuf here from Snorkel.tv, and I have a fun little post today. Um, I want to take you back down memory lane a little bit where we had our interactive code challenge, where we wanted to build an interactive peacock. And I had built this fun little peacock in Flash that's interactive. It opens its feathers and closes them. And I really opened up this challenge to the entire tech community, uh, saying that you could use whatever technology you want to build an interactive peacock. And at that time, in my soul, I was really searching for what is the best technology to build an interactive peacock with. And uh, from this contest, I got a lot of fun Flash entries, but really nobody from the JavaScript, HTML5, CSS part of the world uh, bothered to contribute. And I really wanted to see what tools were there that could be used to build a very fun, interactive, and simple sequenced animation. And at the time, you know what? There wasn't anything on the table. But with the release of GreenSock Animation Platform version 12 with JavaScript support, uh, now you can do exactly what you were doing in Flash in JavaScript. And I'm going to switch over to this tab here. And so I took it upon myself to take my own challenge with JavaScript. And here is my JavaScript-driven version of my interactive peacock. You'll see that the performance is exactly the same. Uh, the only thing that we lack here is the very subtle drop shadow that I have in Flash. Okay, so as the feathers animate, you'll see that that drop shadow works perfectly. So it's a small concession to make to get your peacock to run on iOS. Uh, looking at the code, um, I want to show you that the timeline animation code is very similar to what you would see in Flash. Um, just two lines to get all those feathers to move. Now I'll be perfectly frank, setting this up in HTML and CSS was a little bit of a challenge for me. Um, the CSS isn't really over the top. Uh, we're defining some attributes and properties for the peacock body, the feathers, and then each individual feather. And here's the HTML, it's fairly clean. Really the most difficult part was getting the initial offset of all the feathers and also dealing with their uh, stacking order so the feathers were on top of each other in the right way. Um, but once you get into the animation part of it, you know, really simple. This is the code that I use to offset each feather on the left by 22 degrees and here's how I do it on the right. Um, and we have the same sort of uh, click function for reversing the timeline and playing it quicker when it goes backwards. So if you were to download my Flash file and compare it to the HTML and JavaScript that I have, you're going to see lots of similarities. So I just want to inspire you guys to uh, dabble more with the GreenSock tools because so much of your Flash skills are transferable. And seriously guys, by no means do I think that Flash is dead. It's awesome. There's some groundbreaking things happening. Uh, with Air and Stage 3D, um, but the truth of the matter is a lot of the typical animations that we have been creating solely in Flash are now possible to create in other ways. So I really look forward to showing you both ways of tackling these problems. So stay tuned and uh, I'll catch you soon.